Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. Thank you for tuning in and watching me. This is Top Deck King, the one and only Top Deck King. There's some fakes out there. Don't believe them. That's not the real Top Deck King. I'm the real Top Deck King here. I can prove it. I have my name, Top Deck King. But anyways, there's probably plenty of Top Deck Kings, but I see myself as a true one hopefully i see myself as a true one even though i never top deck i always draw crap i you know off the top but hey so we're playing a blue white control deck for best of one we're gonna go give this a try and see how things work out see if it's any good see what the rave about it is i'm playing it a little bit different than the ones that you're seeing so far out there since it's a best of one i know they're playing like uh divide by zero but i think professor symbology might just be better for the deck because it creates you a blocker it still gets you that ability and then i can still run dissipate for the exile clause so but we're gonna go give this deck a try on the ladder but before we get into that let's go over some of the cards here we're playing so since best of one tends to be a little more aggro based than it is control based uh from what i've heard or seen from people we're running three portable holes three fading hopes there uh to deal with aggro package the good thing about fading hope is it also since i'm running creatures i'm running both farmhand and professor symbology i can fading hope my own creatures and still get to scry as well as put them back into my hand so that's our one drop against creatures we also have this uh two costs i guess i can't really move that right but we also have fateful abstinence against creatures and planeswalkers instant speed removal card since we don't really care too much on if they get card advantage because we're going to try to win with either like stadium outrun tokens maybe we just attack with some of these creatures we have uh what is it cave here hall of storm giants so i mean it does matter about card advantage but at the same time if you're gonna go for like lethal or something like that or control the board it's not gonna matter obviously i don't want to give them any, tre any treasures but the bright side of this card is since we are also playing creatures we can fateful abstinence our own creature so let's say we're playing against control right we have these creatures they already gain their value by coming into play and then uh, later down the road we can use faithful abstinence against our own creatures that way this is not a dead card and we can still investigate and then draw a card down the road but yeah, Farmhand grabs us a basic planes. That's why I'm running her. And then Professor Symbology obviously gives you the lesson learn package. So I'm running four of her and only two. This is a good way to thin your deck out. Puts a 1-1 one, one on the body, on the boards against creature-based decks. Gives you a land. So I'm running two of her. Obviously, Professor Symbology, like I said, the lesson learn package. I have two main deck negates here against the like churn decks, the control is it, stuff like that. So I got two negates there. I also have four dissipates this helps out against you know the galvanic iteration maybe uh memory deluge any flashback cards straight up exiles them uh let's say they have main deck skyclave shade they're playing a snow deck we counter a planeswalker they can't blot on the snow way we're gonna give this a try and see how it works with dissipate um obviously saw it coming could be helpful also foretelling we have a lot of foretell abilities foretelling might be helpful but we're gonna go give try a dissipate a try and see how that works out i'm running one stadium to the celestia's stadium you really only need one in play to win the game because they stack and that doesn't really matter this is legendary this is not but this helps you loot which is really good against control decks so like the, these three cards are useless against control so you can use the celestis to start looting and discarding it so that's why i have one stadium for the win condition with Elrond's epiphanies but i have two celestias so that way i can loot through cards and this gives me a specific mana this only gives me colorless mana so those are the reasons we're running those three memory delusions are card advantage card draw engine two to fairies since we're running artifacts we're running creatures we're running lands it can use the plus effect to actually untap three cards in the deck so that's pretty solid three doom scars for our board wipes and four outruns epiphanies for our win condition and then the lands nothing special the one thing i'm trying out here is gates of ist istfell to see how this works since you can cast you can activate this at instant speed 
I want to see how this is going to work, especially since we're running Outruns Epiphanies. Trolling some extra cards as a land drop is pretty solid. So we're going to give this a try, two of them, see how that works out. Nothing very special about the Lesson Learned Package. Just basically one of every good card, except for Environmental Science and Teachings. Since we're going to kind of use up our hand pretty fast, hopefully Teachings will give us a lot of card advantage. And this obviously gives us mana. So... But yeah, this is the, the blue-white control we're going to go try out for best of one. Hopefully we do well with it. We'll see how it works. We have cards against both uh, creature-based decks here with the removal, doom scars, some creatures. And we have cards against control decks with the negates, dissipates, you know, outruns, epiphany. So we'll see how it works. But before we get into the matches, don't forget to check the description of the video. It has the portable deck list in there. It has my social medias in there as well. If you want to follow me on Twitter, you want to watch my, me streaming, check me out on Twitch there. I stream four to five days a week. Um, Discord's in there. So if you want to join my Discord, like I said, Discord is brand it's new. There's like 20 people in there right now. It's there, you know, helpful people are in there. So if you want help or advice or anything, feel free to join that. Me and the other people are more than willing to help you. So yeah, don't forget to hit that subscribe button hit that thumbs up button the notification button i do post videos daily so but after that let's just get into the gameplay let's go play some matches and see what we can do with this deck see if we can really be a top deck king otherwise we might have to change our name but yeah let's get into the matches let's see how we do a sparry body dice body i get to go first i guess i can keep i have removal and i have a counter spell of course, it's not the greatest of greatest, but lands and spells. So can't really ask much more than that, right? Lands and spells. Lands and spells. This doesn't really give me much. It's not blue white control versus blue white control. All right. A whole righty then. All right. So I'm going to play Fill the Ruin here in case I need to do use Fill the Ruin to destroy a land so I get the blue so I can play Memory Deluge. So, so I'm going to use Fill the Ruin here. Let's go ahead and destroy this. Force him to grab a basic blue. But the main reason is so I can play Deluge down the road. So grab the basic. What are the odds that you play? We play against blue white. So we got three useless cards here. We got three useless cards. What you got, opponent? Oh, two, four, five, six, three are passing. Three, six. Celeste. I can't play that. Fortunately, I can't play that. So I'm going to force them to counter maybe this, and then I'm going to play that. So let's force the counter spell here. That way we can play this. I mean, obviously, if I knew I was going to draw that, I would have definitely have countered. Or would have, oh, come on, deck. So, I mean, I'll grab one and one, or grab two, two. That's very odd, man. Let's see. Can get double lands. All right, I'm gonna take one one. I guess we're gonna take a one one. Okay, good. I drew a land. Drew a land. Oops. So I'm gonna put this face down first here, so that way I don't have to discard to hand size. Next turn, I'm gonna go for the professor into a um. What is it? environmental science? So that way I hit more land drops. Ooh, another foretold card. All right, so one, two, uh, Professor. See if they counter this. Is he gonna counter my Professor? Wow, that resolves, you could have that. You may have that opponent. I'd rather do this then. That's what I really wanted to do. Because now if he doesn't play spells, I get to transform and start discarding these useless cards. Wow, he saw it coming to my professor. This guy. Another foretold card, okay. Another foretold card, take action. Do not want this. 
I didn't draw a land, unfortunately. That's kind of bad, but... So, three, four, five, six, seven. I could force it here. I think I could just force it there, right? Yeah, we'll just do that. Uh, Activate only at sorcery. That's the only bad part. Is you have to play it at sorcery speed, though. It's played at sorcery. So, we're going to force a counter spell here with this one. Oh my gosh, my opponent didn't go for it. Um, I think I'm just going to take Deluge and land here. Take the Deluge and land. So play this. I don't want to discard to hand size. So I'm going to put another card face down. And I'm going to pass turn here. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we're going to have, what, access to nine mana next turn? That's fine. I'm going to play my own in a second. Memre de Luge. Oh, crippling fear. Yep, I guess that resolves. I mean, crippling fear. Crawling barons. I meant to say crawling barons. So they're going to play one. Ca oh, actually, they can play two if one of them's like the two mana spells, I guess. Yeah, that works. Oh, he went for a foretold ability now. That's risky. That is risky, my friend. Not so sure about that one. So I take dissipate and a land, obviously. Obviously. Uh so we have seven, eight mana. This is six. I could play the cave. Alright, so let's go ahead and play Alrun's Epiphany. If he plays a counter spell, we can play Tested Talents against it. And get rid of possibly multiple copies of it. So I can also play a land and force the... Eh, let's do that, actually. Let's go ahead. Oh, no, it doesn't work that way. My bad. My bad. That was that was horrible. I forgot that it, it doesn't discard a card. I forgot it doesn't work that way. All right. Um, so let's see. We have eight mana, right? Eight mana. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If they go up to eight mana also... We got nine mana. I don't want to play another Outrun's Epiphany here. I think I just have to attack and kind of sit back. Seven, eight, nine. So if we play this, and then I guess we just sit back. I have two counter spells. Another Outrun's face down. If he tries to go for it, we could. If he tries to do an Outrun's Epiphany, we're gonna go go ahead and counter that. He only has access to seven total mana. Sunset Revelry. They get to draw, create creatures, and wow, they get to get all three effects. I guess, yeah, it's pretty good. Well, it was pretty darn good. Gained all three effects. One, two, three, four. All right, let's go ahead and play some Deluge. Let's go Delusion. All right. Alrun's Epiphany. Ooh, Stadium is a good card. Teferi is a good card. Alrun's Epiphany is a good card. Stadium could guarantee me the win faster here. They have one, let's say two blue mana. I feel like I get Stadium. Oh, man. I could get Alrun's Epiphany and Test of Talents. Because they're going to eventually start playing spells. But I'm saying like Stadium. I can play it. Get two counters on it. Use it. Get a third counter on it. Start chaining. We have what? Nine. We'll go to ten. Ten mana. Six. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Ooh, that's tough. Alright, I'm going to risk it. I'm going to take the risk here. So, Fading Hope, one of the tokens away, since it's just a useless card in my hand anyways. And it gives me the Scry. Obviously, they have a counterspell. 
They clearly have a counter spell in their hand. So there's constant pauses here. So let's see. All right, one, two, three. Let's try Stadium. Let's see if Stadium resolves. We got three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine mana. So I may not go for it this turn, maybe the next turn. Saw it coming. All right, let's try this. I want to see what's in his hand. See if they have a counter spell. They do not have a counter spell in their hand. And they clearly didn't have one face down. So Alrin's Epiphany, one, two, three. So the face down card is Alrin's Epiphany. So three. So we're just going to go for it. We should probably win with this. So could I do the big one here? Two, three, four, five, six, seven. I can. Puts a counter on it. We put two more counters on it. Then we put four counters on it. I think we won the game right here. Stadium for the win. Take action. Discard. Go ahead and play that. I'll run to Epiphany for the win. One, two, three, four. Good game. Got him. Got him. Raphael. Raphael. All right. Um. I guess we can keep turn one, turn two, professor, grab like environmental science, turn three, maybe play environmental. Oh, come on. It's another is it churn stack, huh? Is this really popular in best of one? Should I start main decking more counter spells? That's kind of, that's kind of sick. So much, so much is it spells in best of one, huh? I thought is it spell or not is it spells is it turns I thought is it turns wasn't good for best of one. Am I wrong? Interesting. Well, this deck doesn't do well against is it turns, especially since it runs a lot of counter spells or a lot of removal. I should say. Look at this. We got three dead cards in hand. Three dead cards in the hand. Not going to counter that. Um, I could do academic probation. I could do teachings. Guess we'll grab teachings here. Guess we'll grab the teaching. So he has what? The one damage, one damage ability. Oh, double fading hope. Is that really worth it? I mean, yeah, you have to discard to hand size. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Got to discard to hand size. I don't know if that was worth it, though. I would say that's not worth it, but that's just my preference. Yep. Generate the mana. Generate L mana four five six. I guess we're just probably four five six. He plays Alrun's Epiphany. All right. Let's see if this gets forces the treasure counter spell. I'm trying to force him to sack his treasures. Let's see if he does it though. He does do it. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. All right. That was very gutsy. Take action. Let's grab academic probation. Play this as my land drop. See if he has another Jordy or something like that. Um, we can grab mascot here and let him go. Let him do his churn. Let him do his shenanigans stuff. Cinderclasm, sure. 
Cinderclasm. Doom Scar is not what I'm looking for. Oh, so let's do that. Let's do that. Environmental science. Grab a blue source. So grab blue. Play that as land drop. I'm going to go ahead and foretell this. Foretell this. And I guess pass turn and let him play something. I'm also going to try to set up for a teachings here so I could try to draw some cards. So put that on blue um so he has four cards in his hand huh two four five six seven go for teachings here draw some cards look for some counter spells here maybe what is he thinking about Test of Talents is not too shabby, I guess. All right. You're up, opponent. I do need some more lands, though. Because currently... Ooh, okay. So one, two, three, one, two. Hmm. I could also just pass and then sack this to draw cards. All right. I guess that's what we have to do is sack it and draw some cards. Sure. I don't want to give up any lands, but I, if I do it, I might draw more lands. Okay, fill the ruin gets rid of Hall of Storm Giant, so that's good. Um, let's see. I could, oops. I think I'll just discard to hand size, honestly. I think I'll just discard to hand size. Because I want to use this and hold up these. Just in case. Just in case. Let's go ahead and destroy this. Got two white mana. I got four blue. Guess I can grab another four blue, right? I only need two white mana, so I'm gonna go go ahead and grab a blue here. I only need two white mana. Oh, I also have this to give me the white mana. So two, four, five, six, seven, eight mana. All right, I guess I gotta pass. I could start using Hall Storm Giants also. I think I should, but I am afraid of Fading Hope. Because that just deals with my card, like, straight up. I guess I gotta start forcing some of the counter spells, right? I gotta stop, start forcing some of it. There's a divide by zero. He's gonna go grab environmental science so he can get his mana. Wow, he just gave up. Okay. In a J Grog. Michigan J Grog. I get to play first. Yay. Yippee. I guess I'll keep. I have counter spells. I have removal and lands. We gotta keep, I guess. Depending on what color he plays. So we're gonna go ahead and foretell this then. Since he's playing green. Ranger class is a very good one to have there. Very good one to play against me. That's like one of the best cards to be playing against control. Uh, Okay. I can kill this, I guess. But is it really worth it? To give him a treasure? Alright, we'll do it. I'll give him the treasure. Nice. I don't want to take any damage. I can start dissipating all their creatures or all their spells now. Of course, if he upgrades this, and that's going to suck. But there's nothing I can do about that anyways, so. That's why that was a very good hit against me. Go ahead and dissipate that. 
Land. No land. I was hoping for land, but no land, I guess. All right. Let's see. Chariot. Go ahead and dissipate that one as well. Land me. No land. No land. It's like, land me. Just pass churn. <laughs> That's fine. I could baiting hope that guy. I could even doom scar. That I don't care for. Yep, you got it. You got it, opponent. Let's get some lands. I mean, I would love to have the Alruns Epiphany too, but unfortunately, I need lands here. Okay. So I could Doom Scar here and hold up Test of Talents. Test of Talents doesn't do anything against him. Um, so I guess we're gonna Doom Scar and foretell this. Nice again, huh? All right. Go ahead and play Ren. Play El Renarino. There it is. Just as I expected, right? Just as I expected. Three. So we're going to play Aaron's Epiphany here. We're going to kill Ren and bounce this with Fading Hope. Bounce this. Doom Scar. I guess that's fine. And then we'll kill Ren. Bye bye, Renarino. Three, six. We can sack this to draw some cards. We have two lands in our hand, so we don't really need any more lands at this point. A cheer, yeah, yeah, I guess. I guess chariot resolves. Sure, I would have kept that. When you animate chariot, you can copy it. I personally would have kept that. Oh my gosh, more lands. Three, six, seven. More lands. Oh my gosh. All right, I guess. I guess I gotta pass and play Memory Deluge against them, huh? Pass and play Memory Deluge. We got way too many lands in my hand right now. I should have taken that Alrin's Epiphany, but I needed the lands. At that time, I needed the lands, so. Let's see what they do, though. We got rid of some good stuff, but we also didn't get rid of some good stuff. Cherry gonna create a token. You got it. You can also level up, so you don't have to cast anything beyond that. And there's no way I can get rid of this in blue-white. Okay. Sure. Do you have another Blizzard Brawl, I guess? Ren. This guy actually... I guess maybe I should just have these as negates, but I guess they're just by far better maybe in the meta. It's going to create a Ren token. I mean, yeah, Ren token. Because if I had negate here, it would have been so much better. Maybe I'm going to swap them for negates. Yep. All right. Let's see what we hit. So, we got nothing worth wild here, huh? I'll grab that. I could grab that. But doesn't do anything. Grab that and that. How many mana do I have? Three, six, seven. So play seven, right? I could play this into this into this. They got one card in their hand. This can kill, sure. This can kill that, I guess. Um, all right, we're just going to chump block. Since we're playing Doom Scar, we're just going to chump block here. Doom Scar. And this will allow me to possibly start. Ooh, that's interesting, too. 
I think I play this because it gives me the flyer, though. The bad part is they have, um, they have Ranger class, so. Unfortunately, there's nothing I could do about that. They can just upgrade Ranger class. That's the bad part. If they only had Ren and Cherry here, we would be technically fine. I hope they do. Oh, they did it wrong. What they should have done was upgrade Ranger class to see what the top card of their deck was. And then do the plus on Ren if there was just the land. You know what I mean? Either way, we're still in a pickle. We are still in a pickle. Let's kill off Ren. That's flying, buddy. Ren 2 down. What the heck do you have? Like, what the heck do you have, opponent? What are you doing? You have snakeskin bell in your hand? You can't animate. I'm assuming that must be snakeskin bell then in your hand. So it's going to transform here. All right. So pass turn. It's going to transform. I get to discard a good land here. Take action. There's an Alrun's Epiphany. That's not bad. I'll take that. We got, what, 9, 10, say 11 mana. 11 mana, huh? Hmm. Not quite enough. Not quite enough to what I want to do. This costs, what, 5 total mana. Take a foretell this, foretell this, play a land can animate this, attack them for seven, and still foretell. So if I do this, all right, let's do that. Let's do that. Hit them for seven damage here. I got to put the pressure on so that way Alrin's Epiphany could end the game. So this is a way for me to do damage and try to end the game really fast. I could play this and then foretell this. I should probably play the untapped land, honestly, because then I could have held up Tessa Talents. But in green, they don't have anything other than like a Blizzard Brawl. So you know what I mean? I believe Blizzard, Blizzard Brawl is the only card that I... Or Snakeskin Veil also, I guess. Yikes. They just chained up uh, three creatures in a row. Three creatures, 11, 12 mana, so five, six. Yep, take six, take five, six, seven, take eight, actually. We're taking eight. All right, they play two spells, that's good for me. Take action. Well, we have enough land, so I'll discard that. Dissipate. So let's see. I have access to 11, 12 mana. So I can Doom Scar deck. Oh, sorry. It is not. Uh, the Stream Decker is not updated yet. I just. I'm testing this deck out right now to see how it works. So Stream Decker is not updated. So if I play, I can play Doomscar into Alrin's Epiphany. Five, let's say this costs seven plus five, that's 12 mana. We can do, and also do Doomscar here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Nice, this guy just loves to say nice against me. This guy loves to say nice against me. I can use Alrun's Epiphany, take the extra turn. Let's do that. This comes in tapped, right? Create a tap 4-4, four, four, yes. Create a tap 4-4. Four, four. So, Memory Deluge. So, I can hit him for 7, or 7, 10, 11, 12. 
It is not game to hit them for 12. That's unfortunate. But I could attack them for 7, 8. If I hit another... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Alright, let's see what we hit with this. If I hit another Al Runs Epiphany, then that should lock it up. That's not an Al Runs Epiphany. Um, Teferi and Fateful. Because Teferi can... Well, what does Teferi do that I need that for? I think I take Fateful and maybe Memory Deluge. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8... Yeah, I think I take those, honestly. I could also take Teferi and attack with the creatures. Let's do that. So I can, let's do this. Add blue. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven mana. We could deluge then or dissipate and stuff. <clears throat> Good game, opponent. Got him. We're playing against Law. Law. Let's see. There, there goes that guy. Creates me a blocker. I'll keep it, I guess. Churn two, churn three. Oh, we're playing against a controller. Controller. Blue white. So we're playing against Azorius versus Azorius. The Azorius trains. Is he gonna counter it? No, he's not. Take action, 100% take action. 100%. Faithful mending. Let's hope this guy thinks I am a blue white or I'm a Zorius aggro or whatever. Let's hope he thinks it's that. So he starts discarding. Wow, he gave up actually one of his, okay. Let's hope he doesn't think I'm a blue-white control deck. Because I am blue-white control. But I'm hoping he doesn't think that. So I can put that on blue. Let's go to combat. Attack. The only bad part is so if I play this, I get a card. And I have currently what? Let's see. So if I play this as my land. Two, four, six, seven, eight. It's not legendary. To play the planes, use the effect, grab another planes. It should fill my hand back up to seven again. Take action. Grab another planes. Just then my deck out of two cards. It's pretty solid. Like I said, I'm hoping he thinks I'm a creature deck, so he keeps his removal in his hand. But in reality, we are not removal. Oh, there he goes. He gave up a divide by zero. Plan is working. Plan is working out. And he gave up a field of ruin. Sunset Relvery. That's good. That's good. So, swing out. Like I said, I don't really care about these guys. You got it. You got it, opponent. Um, put this on blue. Let's cast Professor. Um, actually, I probably just should have played Teferi there. That was my bad. That was my bad. I have enough lands in my hand. I'm just going to grab a Teachings here. I'm going to bottom. I'm going to foretell this. I should have just probably dropped the Teferi there, honestly. Oh, he missed his land drop. Interesting. All right, I'm going to pass and just hold up Deluja end step. I could have dissipated that, but I only have... I'm going to Deluge here instead and just let him get the cards. Obviously, he missed the land, so doing that would have been good. But I think it's fine. Let's force maybe a counter spell here. Two, four, five, six, seven. Ooh, test the talents. That's like the only time 
it, you know, Tessa Tones is very good is against, you know, this kind of deck, but you know, it is what it is. He gets to see my hand now. So that's the bad part. At least I got him to discard one of the uh, Divide by Zeros, so that was pretty solid. Let's play Teferi and hope he doesn't have a negate. Combat attack. Let's go ahead and use the effect. Submit zero. You're up, opponent. You're up. Teferi's emblem. You get an emblem, untap all permanents you control each. During each un opponent's untap step, you draw an extra card each turn. See, if I would have had this already in play, probably would have emblemed. Love me some test of talents. Test of talents is very beautiful indeed. I agree. Test of talents. Let's see. Let's go to combat. Um, three, six, seven. I could go up to eight mana. I can't use both spells. All right. So, boom. Let's try teachings. Two, four, five, six. Another fill the ruin. So submit zero. Um, I'm wondering if I untap fill the ruin so I can get a second get out another blue. I do have a blue here, but one, two, three, four, five. We're gonna try and go for it next turn with the counter magic in our hand. So combat. Probably not actually now since he has it's fully untapped as well. I'm just gonna emblem to fairy, you know. Could use this kill off one of his lands. But then if I do that, it gives him access to play Memory Deluge. So I don't think I want to do that. Submit zero. Alright, you're up opponent. You got three six mana. That resolves. That resolves. Let's see if we get Teferi Emblem. I got two counter spells in my hand, so this should emblem here. Let's see how powerful the emblem is. Let's see how powerful this emblem becomes. What are you doing? Two, four, five, six, seven cards. Wow, he foretold again. That is very interesting. That's a bad card, though. So maybe I don't even need to emblem right now. Three, six, seven, eight, nine mana. Ten, technically. Tack. So let's tap for blue. Submit zero. Play Alrun's Epiphany. And I can still hold up Dissipate here. My hand's pretty garbage <laughs> in terms of what I also have, but the short target creature plays Zargate's controller gets to investigate. I could use this on my own creature and then investigate. I think maybe. So what I'm gonna do here, because I don't think these one ones matter. I'm going to destroy my own creature so I can investigate with it. And that way I get more value. All Storm Giants, Celestia. All right. What does this do again? Untap all permanents you control. Untap all permanents. Do that on that. Let's go to combat first. I'm debating if I want to kill one of his his lands here, but maybe I don't. Let's play this. I'm gonna use the effect to discard because uh, Teferi makes me untap everything. Got him. We got him. Arse this. 
Yep, been there. Yeah, it's annoying. It's very annoying. Um, it's gonna be bad against control, but it's going to be good and it's control. Crap. Why do I even say anything? Because as soon as I say the deck, it becomes the deck. I'm like, it's going to be bad against control and wazam control. Wazam. All right. Consider. I'm assuming this is a Leer deck then. I'm assuming this is a Leer deck. Or a Delver deck. Because I think those are the only two decks that play Consider. A Leer deck or a Delver deck? So let's see. What could they play? There is, I mean, they can play something here because they haven't straight up passed turn. Wow, okay. Interesting, huh? Interesting. Um, I guess we can grab a teachings because I don't really know what to get from here, so we'll grab a teachings. Blue, black, snow that gives me a white there. So put this on blue, attack for two, hold up memory deluge or dissipate. Blue, black, snow, play your memory deluge. No deluge. All right, let's try and play mine then. You got it. You may kill that, my friend. You just may kill that. And there's the Jordy. And there's the Jordy. All right, let's go grab the land so we can hold up dissipate. Take action. Grab the land. Hold the dissipate up. Could have also just played environmental science, but I could put a body on the board with this. Otherwise, combat. Attack. Hit you for uno. If I play this, he gets to kill it with fill the ruin. Let's go grab mascot. Mascot. Cause I don't think I need any of that. If I play this, he kills it. I would love to just draw cards, obviously. I'm trying to force him to use fill the ruin here, so that way I can use go oh up. Well, yes, we'll fill the ruin now. Now it doesn't matter. Now it doesn't matter. So he's gonna fill the ruin this two, four, five, six, seven. He has access to seven mana. So if, if he fills the ruins this, it actually works out in my benefit, sort of. Because then I could cast memory deluge on his turn. So I'm hoping he filled a ruins this. There we go. This is gonna give me an untapped mana now. So I'm gonna grab blue again, because there's no reason not to grab blue. And now I'm able to hold up Memory Deluge. Originally, it was just going to be double counter spell, but now we have double Memory Deluge. He has four cards in his hand. So here you go. You go counter this one, I guess, opponent. I could just beat you down with three power. Divided by zero. That's a good one. It works that way perfectly. Teachings. Teachings. Let's make sure we don't miss land drop here. Grab white. Combat. Attack for three. I don't think I'm going to want him to draw a bunch of cards here. I could foretell this and then it's one, two, three, four, five. Let's say plays land, plays that. So I'm going to dissipate this teachings here. Because I don't want him. Wow. Rude. That was rude. 
if you guys have another teachings, then well, that was rude, opponent. Dissipate this, because that's like I said, I don't want him to draw three cards there. Currently winning the value here. No point in letting that happen. Is he going to let this resolve? He is. What do I grab? I guess we'll grab environmental science. We'll play this. He uses fill the ruin against it. I don't think that matters. Three, six. Yeah, that doesn't matter. If he kills cave, he kills cave. You're up, opponent. Use your fill the ruin, kill the cave arenos. Um, yeah, plenty of white. I don't need more than that. Three, six, seven mana. I need six, so I have to hold up. I could have foretold this, but I need to keep six. Faceless Haven. If he plays mascot, I don't care because I could just respond with my mascot. So. And if he animates Faces Haven, I can Doom Scar away his board if I needed to. Hey, what's up, oh bro, Kenno? How you doing? How you doing, bud? One, two, three, four, five, six mana. So I'm gonna Doom Scar here. Hold up, dissipate. Let's see if we kill this Faceless Haven. Kill it, Reno. Did I haven't played land drop this turn? Correct. I don't believe so. Let's grab that. Let's play the land. Hold up, dissipate. Pass turn. Two fo said more witch. The witch that resolves, I guess. Now runs epiphany. He has two unknowns. Four, seven, eight, nine. I have nine. I can't do that quite yet. Oh, great. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Four, eight, nine, ten. Wait, I have four, eight, nine, ten. Actually, I could do Elrond's Epiphany. What am I thinking? I'd rather use Mascot into Elrond's Epiphany. So that means he has like probably a blood on the snow in his hand, I'm assuming. Two, four, five, two unknowns. Let's see if this resolves. Oh, sweet. Oh, broken. Thanks for the subscription. Thank you. Thank you, buddy. I greatly appreciate it. Greatly, greatly appreciate it. Four, five, six. All right, let's hold up the double counter spell. And Defias, congrats, you got the uh, subscription. Does guy have lifelink? He does not. I guess we'll take action in case I hit another Elrond's Epiphany. Well, I want all this. I mean, I could discard that, I guess. We'll discard that. Fateful Abstinence. Gotta support the hometown heroes. Hey man, thank you. I really appreciate it. Thanks a lot. 4, 8, 9, 10, 11. He still has two unknown cards in his hand. Let's see if we could draw a counter spell with this. See if this makes it that he wants to counter i'm at 22 so i'm not like dying anytime soon I'm trying to draw out his counter mat spells let that resolve all right so you have blood on the snow huh so three four five six with three open mana so you have blood on the snow with a counter spell i guess i'm assuming an opponent infernal grasp Oh, that's fine. Yep. It's A-OK -okay with me. 
Down to seven. You're down to seven. I could kill him in the air, technically, right? Two to five, and then almost, actually, it'll be, he'll go down to one. They will go down to uno. Three, four, five, six, seven. Dissipate it. See, there's blood on the snow. What do you got? It doesn't really do anything here. So, sure, you can have that. You may have that opponent. I could fateful this if I need to. Gain some life back. If I could pay the ward cost. Another witch. If I counter that, is it worth countering the witch? All right, we'll counter one. We'll see. It's a transform here. Take action. Now that we have... Ooh, I don't have any lands left. I don't have any lands left. This doesn't really do me any good. It's another land. It's another land. So let's use this. I'm going to use this now and transform it and also draw and discard. Take action. Ooh, there's a fairy. Now we could ditch this. Um, I could use that on that. Pay some life. But I also don't care about it quite yet. Well, drew another one anyway, so I guess it, it matters now. Make sure I tap this. Oh, actually, if I... Yeah, we're going to do that. Tap this for blue. Cast the Teferi. This has Menace. That's fine. We have those. Let's go looking for some cards. Let's grab the Alren's Epiphany. Combat. Attack you for two. Let's play Alren's Epiphany. Attack you for four. Got him. Got him. Hey everyone, we are back to the final analysis part of the video. Since this is the best of one, there is no sideboard guide. But yeah, I just wanted to give a quick final analysis of the deck before, I guess, if you decide to play it or not. But I think the deck is pretty solid for best of one, especially with um, threats, you know, these pseudo threats of uh, farm uh, hand and symbology. And then you have plenty of removal, spot removal, one drops here. You have some two, two drops, some three drops. You have a wind condition in Alrun's Epiphany, some Hollow Storm Giants, Caves, um, Stadium's technically a wind condition as well, especially since you're also running more creatures. Um, Teferi is pretty solid, but I think at two is perfectly fine. I don't think I'm on a one more than that. I've seen some blue-white control decks running like four copies of it. And I don't think it's that great to be running four copies. Of course, in this deck, it gets all the effects since we're running creatures, artifacts, and lands. It, the plus effect does get everything. But I think two is a very solid number there. But overall, I, I did like Dissipate over, um what's it called? The one that foretells just because a lot of the flashback cards I can exile straight up. Very solid card for that opinion. But yeah, overall, very solid deck. Um, Gates of Istfel was very solid as well. I do like that as well in the deck. Uh, I'm not sure if I want to run more than one Fill the Ruin. There was a couple of times where I did need Fill the Ruin more. And then there was a couple of games where I didn't need Fill the Ruin. So if anything, I would take this up to three tops. Otherwise, I would just leave it at two. But I think that's the only changes I would make to the deck. I did try Test the Talents in the main deck. It didn't really work out. I think Negate fits better anyways. And look, it looks cooler. It's the Japanese Negate, so it looks much cooler. So, But other than that, I think the deck is very solid for best of one. Let me know what you guys think. Try it out. Um, if you have the cards, give it a try. Let me know what you guys think. If you have something similar, different to this. I know there's a lot of blue-white decks kind of floating around. Of course, they're not really running farmhand or symbology, I think. So let me know what you guys think. Um, drop some comments down below. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, that thumbs up button. Check the description for the video, my social media stuff like Twitch, Twitter, Discord, and all that. But thank you for watching. I appreciate it greatly. Hopefully, I'll see you guys in my next video.